We talked to Pam Wall down there in Fort Lauderdale, and she gave us the name of one guy that she highly recommends if we go to the rod, and one guy that she highly recommends if we go to the wire. A lot of decisions to go through with the rigging hardware, but we did get the invoice in from West Marine for wire rigging, and started fiddling around with the four state connections, and got some great advice on proper boatyard attire. Hey, I got this. I got this out of one of Brandon's storage units. I love it. Oh, love right. it. And you can't even tell when it gets dirty. I mean, it's never been clean. Yeah. I think that's see, what the trick with the boatyard is to blend in. That's yeah. right. That's You're right. not blending yeah, in. I know. <laughs> you look good. Know. You look You're great. You look great. <laughs> What's this? What's this? Stem ball? Good question. What is the stem ball? We had a lot of questions about all of these rigging hardware estimates that came in. Thankfully, we had Brandon around to help us figure this stuff out. So I think that's labor for the swedging, okay. or whatever they charge for the right. We knew from the start going back with rod rigging would be more expensive. But the wire estimates that had come in ranged from 2,500 to 4,500. So when the West Marine quote came in at, and this is 19 with turnbuckles, I'm gonna say it's probably done. We were pretty excited. But we also knew going from rod to wire would require us to make some modifications to the rigging. And that was one thing the West estimate did not include. That's it, yeah. Well, but plus it doesn't include, but what it doesn't include is, uh we'd have to figure out some sort of connection on the uppers. So we'd have to have that done by oh, somebody. Like an add to modification we right, talked about. Right. Lots of riddles to figure out here. Um, all right, so this is our old rod rigging, how it attached to the mast. It might help a bit if I explain a little bit of our rigging to you. In addition to our forestay and backstay, we have three shrouds on each side that help support the mast. the upper shroud, the lower aft shroud, and the lower fore shroud. Previously, the rod shrouds connected to the mast via a barrel that went through the mast. So this would go like through the mast, and then screw in on the other side, just like had it's a threaded barrel like that. So that was the old way, and there was a bushing in between to make sure no matter how much you tightened it, it didn't crush the mast. Um, that would, you know, hold the mast out and support it. Um, so we're making a new bushing with a steel bimini frame. We also have to turn this into a wire fitting, um, you know, because it's rod right now. And it's very sleek, very nice, well designed, but we have to make this somehow be a tang for an eyelet for wire. That's the big mystery. Told me the guy I talked to. Jay up in, uh, in Maine, he said that he's got a, a company that he had that has done it before. And he said he put in an estimate about, he said you're looking at probably around 900 or 1,000 bucks to have those because there's three of them that you have to do. Meaning, while the estimates for the wire rigging hardware were substantially lower than rod, we had to account for the cost of modifying our current setup to handle wire rigging. Also, the force day which was wire so it could be slid through the foils for our furler, was causing a bit of a problem. We were debating swedge versus stay lock and which end to put the fitting on. Stay lock is not Is that your only area right? to work with, that little space right there? Yeah, I mean, this is with the area where it slides. I mean, this is, it's got Loctite on it, so it's not gonna move right now, but I mean, this will slide up here and we'll get this access to this, but. There's not a lot of room in here. Yeah, bit of a mystery. Come along. Does it need to go inside that? This will pull out a little bit, won't it? Yeah, pull out right there. No, oh, so you think it would stay locked lock up here. top? Okay. Because they have stay lock on. And swedge the bottom. And swedge the bottom. All right. And swedge the bottom. 
Okay. Makes, Makes sense. sense to me. You're going to have to. The stay lock's not going to fit. Well, it's funny. It would probably fit on this side, but that side Well, the Harkin manual, that's what it talks about is, is, I mean, it talks about if you have a stay lock, here's how you do it. As opposed to the Maybe we don't have the exact coils that they're talking about. What's that? So, I mean, it's... In, well, I mean, it's and I would say, if, if, I mean, if they've got the direction for it, then... I mean, it seems like it's manufactured for it because it's like, okay, if you're doing a normal assembly and, and doing a swedge of wire, here's how you do it. If you're doing rod or if you're doing stay lock or Northman, turn to page 23 and then it's got those directions. Like that. You having fun yet? Yeah, rigging is awesome. I let the boys stick on that project so I could turn my attention to the boat to make sure we had her nice and prepared yet again for the nasty fiberglass job we still had to do on the stringers. Hey kids, we're still at the shipyard. <laughs> uh, this is what the boat looks like. Yeah, I know it. Here's our rotten stringer. She's gonna get worked on though, get fixed. We'll get our mask back. Hey, what happened to our awesome tape job? Well, we could tell we got in there. It was just like, Grr. somebody was like, get this shit out of here. Get in there and look at stuff. Well, yeah, we're covered up, like, tangled up. Wait, let's see that again. Shit, I guess Russ will show me. I'll we could do I'll some this weekend. Well, I showed him. Want, I'll go. We can do it Sunday if you want. If you guys want yeah, we can do it Sunday. You need to mask behind the stairs, and then when we go into the head, you need to... Need some we'll do a good job of taping up the front as well as the house. Yeah, I mean, if you want. guys haven't done Sunday, then we'll have to do it Sunday. We'll have to do it Sunday. I just want to make sure weather wise. I would rather be up there cutting and having plastic. We would rather you cut. <laughs> That's much better use of your time. Yeah, so. Do you want to show me real quick how you want it? And we'll tape it up perfect for you. Sunday. Yeah. Thanks. That way we can get it done for you. You don't have to spend your time yeah. doing bullshit behind, stuff. Behind the stairs. Behind? Okay. Yeah. What I would do is just, you know, instead of going up here, go to the, the wall. I like okay, so right follow. So we're gonna go now, to you've met Russ before. Okay. He definitely likes to give us a hard time. Tell me how far I can reach with that. Well, see, what that's designed for <laughs> is uh, that what you ah, got the Wi-Fi from Uranus. No, what the whole <laughs> idea was that you can sell around Pensacola, uh -huh. and then you can contact Cuba. Oh, perfect. You don't even have to leave the bay. Perfect. <laughs> All in good fun, but I wanted to show you how tall he is, 6'4", and he's going to get into some mighty tight places repairing the stringers on our boat. Because I've got to cut out this, this bulkhead from here, mm -hmm. on this side. Maybe we just shouldn't have any of this here, we'll, take, we'll rip it all out for you, we'll do it again. Yeah, if you want to tape it, you know, snug up against the wall. Okay, you just need really good access right there. Yeah. Alright, well we'll do it sir. Russ definitely gave us some good advice on the masking and also some good thoughts on the repair itself. Yeah. That's just scary, Russ. Like, I, I hate to say when Brandon was like, all right, you need to get back in here and do X, Y, and Z. I was like, and how much does it cost for you to do that? <laughs> My first question, not, I hate to say, but it was repair. scary. I mean, it, it was, was like, repair. it was not fun. I mean, I, the whole thing with this is it's just time. Like, if you watch when I'm cutting and grinding stuff apart, I always whatever your prep work is is how your finished work is going to come out so sure. spending the time to get all this stuff perfect we'll yeah. save time later yeah as you're preparing yeah. and when he was saying that we just didn't comprehend what he needed yeah, this is going to be tough for us here yeah. I'm glad well y'all taking such good care of it so philip and i set to it that sunday doing as much diy work as we could do some taping for the boys so everything's ready for him saving some of them expensive ready to sail the hours <laughs> Doing shit we can do ourselves. Cause look at this. <laughs> you got there, Annie. <laughs> Pretty um high tech, but so I guess as you go along, this is our first time trying it. But it dispenses bolt tape and plastic. In one foul swoop. That looks like professional grade. <laughs> This shit's getting real on playing this rest, and then we pull it down like this. We're taping again. How exciting is this? Love taping. <laughs> those people that take their boat all the time. All the time. That's all they know how to do. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, but we were about to change that status because bright and early the very next morning, 
I was going to be clocking in at the shipyard. Video Annie reports for duty. on our ice glass. I mean, this shit's cold. It's cold. Let's see how we're doing down here. Check on our lovely boat. Looks pretty good. That's where I'm gonna spend the day. This blizzard. Let's get to work. Let's get to work. I got my little lunch. I'm ready. <laughs> Clocking in. Like in the videos? Awesome! Go to havewindwilltravel.com where you can follow on the blog, check out my books on Amazon, or help us give the gift of cruising on Patreon. Get inspired and get on board. But above all this, I wish you love, love. Wait for it. Wait for it. And I Small, of course. I'm the king!